What we have here is a 20-foot sport craft that I just recently purchased. This boat originally, and the trailer, originally came through a boat auction. And it's actually in very, very good shape. The hull just needs to be waxed out and buffed out. And as you can see, I experimented on one small section and it came out really nice. That's only like 10 minutes of work. So if I really put some effort into it, it would look really nice. Now the engine, there is no engine, but I'm ordering a new engine for the boat. So we'll put a 200 horsepower in it. But basically the hull and the interior is in an absolutely great condition. There's no damages to the gel coat or anything like that. But as you can see from the cockpit cushion, the boat is 22 years old. Now, I have all the cushions and you can see I put one back in for this demonstration. It's in bad shape. Well, that's why I bought that sewing machine because I'm going to make all new cushions for it. Now, going up to the front of the boat, you see a deck area up here. No cushions. There were at one time. You can see the snaps. It's located down there. And that is... gives me my pattern to make a forward cushion. So I'm already going to use a dry cell 3-inch foam on that and I'll make the cushions for that. And back here in the front of the center console is another original area and that gives me a pattern to make for that pattern there. But on top of the cooler they have snaps on the sides but no cushion. No problem, I can make a cushion and a pattern for that. So that's my project for the next month is to bring this old boat back to shape and I know it looks like a lot of work but when I'm done um, it's going to be actually pretty nice because it'll have a new engine, new cushions, the hull and everything will all be polished out and brought back to original. Is a winch cover. Now to learn how to sew one of these suckers is really hard. <laughs> it has, it's round, you got to figure out the circumference, the diameter, and then underneath the cover is a sewn-in material. I don't know if I can pull it off with one hand or not. Okay, I folded it up backwards. So that way you can see this old winch that I had in the garage, but the cover has this an elastic uh, bungee cord that's been sewn in. Now to make that all work, uh, a lot of hours of work for one cover, but I broke the code on how to do it. So there we go, finished product is back on the, the old winch the way it should be. The reason for that bungee cord is to keep it from blowing away in a storm. Oh. Believe it or not, guys, that's about seven hours. 